Hello everyone, my name is Uchara, and this is Eco, episode 14 of our solo Let's Play. Uh, for this episode, we have one major goal we want to do, and that is to finish this road to our coal mine and to get the actual coal mine going. Uh, probably <laughs> finish chopping down this redwood at some point as well, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's a sub-goal for today. That's not as important, not nearly as important as the coal mine. So we're all the way out here. So now we're going to have to go a little further, obviously. Then we're going to work our way down. And the coal mine will come back in and dig in this way towards the coal. Because is there coal right here? Do we have to go down further? I think we might have to go down a little bit. I don't think we'll hit coal here. No. But it's not much deeper than that. I think if we dig down here, I think we should hit coal. In a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. So it's 10 down from there. So if we, you know, 9 down, 8 down, 6 down, right? So if we go in here, we only got to go down like 6. So that's the plan. That's the plan for the coal mines. So we got to make a few more roads. We're going to have to make a bunch of ramps. Then we'll have to start digging out. So we'll probably just throw up a couple of temporary stockpiles somewhere around here. Uh, just to hold the crap so that we don't have to go back and forth too much. Yeah, that is the primary goal for today. Um, we might, uh, I think I might make some more lumber, get some lumber ready. Um, I think in a, it probably won't be today, but we're going to eventually replace the rest of our house with tier two materials. Although part of me just wants to wait till tier three. Our workshop's obviously tier two, our kitchen's tier two. Uh, we should probably do some with this room. I might just pull these walls out and make a big general room. Uh, so yeah, so I was thinking about replacing all this with lumber and all these walls and sealing a floor with lumber instead of making the whole thing brick. But I don't know. We'll see. I may just wait for tier three, but that's, uh, one of the other things we're probably gonna do today. But yeah, coal mine, coal mine, coal mine, coal mine. All right. I'm going to go get that done right now. All right. So something finally happened. I knew it would happen eventually. I went to make some stone roads and I did not have, uh, I did not have enough crushed stone, finally, for the first time. <laughs> I ran out of crushed stone in my basement. I mean, I could have crushed more, but I think I'm going to I'm gonna take from our, my emergency uh, overflow stockpiles, whatever you want to call them here, put them down into the basement where the engineering station, I guess it's called, can get at them. So I'm just, I'm excited that I finally get to uh, <laughs> use some of this crushed stone that I have accumulated that I've been accumulating for quite some time. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy, finally. It's a good day. It's a good day in, in Lucheraville. I guess that's what I'm gonna call this. So let's uh, let's move them up. Yeah, <laughs> woo! So, I was thinking. I know, it's dangerous, me thinking. But if I keep eating vegetable medleys and salads, eventually my protein and fat I'm going to become unbalanced. I mean, I can make... I could, I could make some meaty stew. But I was thinking more it'd be cooler if there was something meaty here I could make. Now, there's crispy bacon. That's a lot of protein and fat. That might be too much. <laughs> but I don't even know how to make bacon. I think I need maybe go over to the butcher table but I was thinking more along simmered meat that's more balanced at least it has some carbs and vitamins it's more protein than fat is the bacon more fat than protein it is so maybe I should make some of each would probably be the best thing so simmered meat uses prepared meat and meat stock and meat stock comes from scrap meat and this comes from raw bacon. Alright, so we need raw bacon, we need scrap meat, and we need prepared meat. It's a lot of different kinds of meat. <laughs> okay, well here's prepared meat. So that's just raw meat. We turn raw meat into prepared meat, which gives us scrap meat. Okay, so, and bacon just comes from meat and also gives us scrap meat. Alright, well that's easy. We might have to go hunting again. We'll have, yeah, we're going to have lots of, uh, Lots of scrap meat here. Alright, so we'll queue that up. 
and then we'll queue up some raw bacon as well. Do we want to do as much bacon? Yeah, let's let's do the same. Twenty of each. That only only makes sense, right? All right, so those are queued up. And once those are done, we will make ourselves. Well, we'll have to make some meat stock from the scraps, obviously. But that's fine. And then we'll make ourselves some simmered meat and some uh, some crispy bacon, which also gives us tallow, which is good. So yeah, I like that. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. It's good. You like me better when I'm happy. So, cook crispy bacon takes two minutes. Meat stock takes four minutes for one. Simmered meat takes two minutes. Like, I think I need a second cast iron stove. I mean, all the salads take two minutes as well. This is ridiculous. I had to make some meaty stews just to tide me over here. I guess I do have some crispy bacon done. Let's see how this does. Oh yeah, look at that. 331 XP boost, bonus, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so I'm going to make another <laughs> cast iron stove. This is ridiculous. That is anvil, right? Yep. Alright, so that's that. We are the iron... Or, sorry, iron. Coal mine project is going well. We are down to... We are digging in now. We have our ramp done. The road and the ramp are done. So we're biting in now. I think we got to go down another level or two. And then it's just straight in a little tiny bit. Still did not remove this redwood, obviously. Uh, but yeah. We will be into coal soon. Which is good, because apparently we're going to have two cast iron stoves to fuel. <laughs> So I'll just, uh, here, I'll just wait until we get here so you can see what we're looking at here. So we go down. Right now it's four wide. I decided to only make it three wide here. So we're here. And I don't think this is deep enough. I don't think we'll hit coal here. I think we go down another one or two. Yeah, we're too high. Oh, no. Uh, that's just a fluke, I think. That's not the coal we're looking for. The coal we're looking for is down a little lower. So we're going to keep digging until we uh, until we get there. And then we'll have a coal mine. And I will be back at that point. All right. We hit coal. <laughs> it was not much deeper in than we already were. But here we are. A whole bunch of coal. And let's see how far it goes. Yeah, it might not go far here. Or it might go for quite some time. Yeah, okay. So this is a fairly large patch of coal. But this way, probably not far this way, because I mean, I think it opens up to the air. The river's over this way. Or is it? Nope, that's a whole lot of coal. 15. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> if it says there's coal there, I'm going to choose to believe it. All right, so let's get the cart down a little closer here, see if we can bring it down without. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't go too far. Don't. <laughs> Don't want to put the cart in the in the hole. All right, so let's grab some coal. Then we'll go back and we will fuel up all our machines with coal instead of stupid wood. All right, nice. All right, we have coal. We have a second cast iron stove. So let's use it. It's still, first one is still working on that meat stock. <laughs> So slow. All right, so let's fuel this up with some coal. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, so we will make some simmered meat. No, we won't because this is not linked to the storages. There we go. Now we're talking. Well, we've only made four so far, so we will make the four, though, that we can. Actually, the, the eight that we can. Simmered meat. Put that on the queue. Man, that takes a long time. All right, I'm going to go back. going to grab another load of coal. And then we should probably be good for a while. And then I think I'm actually going to go grab another load of iron as well and get some iron cooking. We do have the thing that's queued up there, right here. That's not going, it's iron. I don't know why it queued four extra bars than what I had... Uh, concentrate for but it's not a big deal 
So I'm gonna go get some coal now, then I'm gonna get some iron, and then we will probably look at the uh, the machinist table, see what's all there, what we need uh, for skills to use it, and oh, maybe we'll clear this redwood too. Yeah, let's clear this redwood out. I'll be back. So I chopped down the redwood. That was that's a ridiculous amount of logs. Eight stacks of 20 almost. 156 logs. Wow. All right. Uh, well, we don't even have room left for coal, so I guess we'll go back, unload these logs, and then we'll go get some coal. <laughs> and then we'll get some iron. And then we will go from there. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of wood. I can't believe that. Nuts. All right, so we got a cart full of coal. We took a big bite out of it. We went as far as we can go this way, but we know we can go this far this way. It goes quite far. We already tested this, but I just want to make sure. I think it goes like the full 50. Oh, no, it doesn't. So maybe over here it keeps going. But, but, there's a direction we didn't check earlier. And I'm going to check it now because we didn't check down. How far does it go down? There we go. Now we're talking. So it's not a war not a concern at all. Really, like just because it ran out this way and it doesn't go terribly far that way, it goes down forever. Let's see if it goes down forever over here in the corner too. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to want to bring some ramps out so that we can, as we dig this up, we can still get down and around. But, yeah. And, I mean, I feel like we're not going to use as much coal. <laughs> we almost broke our pick. We're not going to use as much coal as we do iron anyway. Uh-oh, don't, don't, don't put her in the drink. Oh, that was close. Maybe I should, uh, I'll make a little turnaround area at the bottom for the cart. Yeah, anyway. We're not going to need as much coal as we do iron and stuff. So I feel like this cart load is going to last us quite some time. I hope anyway. But now we're going to go uh, grab a cart load of iron as well. And then uh, then it's machinist table time to see what that's all about. Looking forward to it. So I'm down in the iron mine here. I figured while I was down here I'd test out how far it goes for iron. And it doesn't go that far this way. Turns into basalt, which is taking forever, so I'm not going to keep going. Then this way it goes further, but still not forever. But I mean, it's, it's enough because, I mean, it's 10 deep, right? Because I'm inclined to believe it follows the map, so like, it's under the beach only, right? So it stops this way because the pond's not considered part of the beach. And it stops this way because it hits the grassland. So, I'm, but I'm inclined to believe if I kind of go this way, because you can't see it anymore. But this was beach here, so I'm inclined to believe if there's lots of iron, it's just not straight in either direction. And hey, if I keep digging down with my sand quarry, maybe eventually I'll hit iron there too. <laughs> the way I'm going, but I don't think I'm gonna run out of iron. Like I don't think it's, I'm not gonna have to build another iron mine somewhere else. I can just keep going with this one. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, well, that's what I'm hoping anyway, but yeah, I'm also sure, pretty sure. All right, so we'll be back soon with checking out the machinist table. All right, we have a machinist table. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into with this. Should be interesting. Cries mechanics, obviously. Assembly line, is that a machine as well? Screws, iron bars, iron gears. Portable steam engine. Pistons. Oh my goodness. Screws. Plates. Boilers. Is this all made here? Boiler. Shaper. Screw press. Lathe. So the screw press is first. So that we can act. We could, well, we could make if we had mechanics. Where is our iron storage? Right here. Oh wow, does this thing not need any power? No, apparently not, all right. So we are literally one minute and 42 seconds away from a skill point. So I'm gonna go find something to do 
for a minute and 42 seconds or whatever it is now and we will come back and we will start making some of these extra machines all right so i figured out what i want to do uh this i'm going to tear this all up i'm going to replace it with roads and then i think i'm going to tear the ceiling up a little bit as well i don't know it's just i don't like coming in here with feels i don't know this hanging over my head so i'm going to fix that all right so we have our skill point now so we're going to go in mechanics which is what engineering yes oh we need to do the book though first that might be hard all right well i'm going to dig this up and then we'll go see how hard that book's going to be to make i'm nervous because it's probably going to be pretty hard let's be honest <laughs> but we will see maybe not maybe we have everything only time will tell so i just realized it's been a long time since we've done a meteor update so let's take a look here 25 days 13 and a half hours okay i feel like we're doing pretty good so we did finish the uh road replacement over here i didn't do the ceiling part yet but the road's all replaced so that's fine the other thing i gotta do is i gotta make like a staircase just like a man staircase not even for carts like here or here going up to like either the kitchen or the industrial room one of the two just so i don't have to do that every time all right so let's see what this mechanics skill book needs i can only imagine it's been a long time since we had to make one of these books so i'm kind of all right so three advanced research okay so any advanced that's not too bad because like the advanced geology and the advanced uh dendrology is easy so that's that's fine then we got 10 basic okay that's fine metallurgy advanced that needs oh we need copper wah, wah, wah. all right well that puts the screws to that we can make screws or no we can't make, we can make nails we can't put the screws to that yet because we can't make screws yet we need a screw press all we need is iron but we need mechanics on so we need we need copper all right well we have a new mission apparently and it is to go find copper so i'm going to go actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back over to the cold biomes again i know we already did this like last episode but i'm going to go in and i'm going to just dig in a little tunnel a little man-sized tunnel like five in and five down and then i'm gonna run the drill and we'll see if maybe that will be a better result i'm hoping i'm hoping to find copper anyway i'll be back once i'm out there and i got a little hole dug all right so i came out here i made a little uh just a little man-sized hole here check this way through the basalt first Ugh, why did i do it through the basalt first going through basalt sucks it's actually it's honestly probably not this way i should probably go straight ahead for okay well at least it's at a at a basalt there now and it's back into basalt okay no no this is the way we should have checked this is the way it's most likely to be i feel like or that or straight down so we'll check this and we'll check straight down we'll check to the left too but i i'm really oh there we go there we go so it's 10 in it's only four deep but i'm assuming it's actually much deeper than that all right so let's see if there's any below us as well but we have copper that's the important thing it's not going to be easy to get to gonna have to build a whole bunch of roads to get out here but we have copper all right let's check this way even though i well let's look at the map first no there's not going to be any out there. there's no point checking that way all right so that way so we have some work ahead of us so uh, actually you know what i'm probably going to do for a road i'm just going to build a bridge from here straight across instead of here where do i want to go here and then maybe up yeah i'll check and see where we're at for levels and stuff but 
yeah, that's going to be a big project. That's going to be, I would say, a project for the next episode. But right now, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to dig. I'm going to continue digging until I hit the copper. I'm going to grab a, an arm load of copper or two, take them back, smelt them up. Just do enough that I can get the mechanics book right now. So I have a little stockpile here so I can throw everything in. Sorry. So I'm going to do that right now. We'll get the copper, and then that'll be it for this episode. So I'll be right back with some copper. All right. Well, we didn't even have to go in as far as we thought we would originally because we hit copper early because uh, where we prospected was technically this level. So we should still there's, there'll be copper here in a couple, right? So we had to go three less than we thought because there's copper here and copper here. So we're going to grab this copper. Actually, let's get rid of this arm load. So yeah, so we're going to grab a couple arm loads of copper. Well, we'll grab one arm load for now, obviously. Take them back, smelt them up into bars, because I mean, I don't think it needed a whole lot of bars for that book, right? I don't think. Oh yeah, this copper looks like it's going to be a pretty beefy vein. Well, every vein of anything I've found so far has been fairly beefy, so... I don't think that's going to be a concern. All right, so I am going to run back and forth a couple times with an arm load, and I will be back. So I had to make a run down to the old uh, tailings pit. It's almost full already. We haven't even barely smelted anything, I feel like, so we are mining out the area for another stockpile down here. So that's a lot, not fun. But, you know, add that to the to-do list, you know, just got to make a massive road over to a copper mine right now. What, like, this is a small job compared to the other stuff we got to do. This is minor. No big deal. It's annoying, but it's minor. Minor, ha <laughs> some mining. Get it? Sorry, I'm, I apologize. It's late. All right, so we are, I, I might as well fill this up. I'm going to fill this up, and then we'll go up top. We'll grab our copper bears because they just finished. And we will, uh, we have enough. I had to do a lot of trips um, from the copper spot, but it's done. So now we need to, uh, now we can learn that book, but I got to make the, you know, the research first. But so I'm going to finish loading up the cart and then I'm going to go up and we'll do that. All right. So we are making the mechanic skill book. It is 15 minutes though. So that's going to be a while. So I'm going to end this video here. We will explore the wonderful world of mechanics in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next one.